Hello friends and welcome to my channel. If you will watch this full video, you will learn how to do yourself a passive demi load with active cooling. If you follow my channel, you know that I like to make a lot of uh, power supply, DIY power supplies. And uh, when you make uh, these uh, power supplies, you need uh, a load to test if uh, the power supply gives the voltage and the current that you need. And that's why I decided to make a passive uh, dummy load. This is 100 watts resistor 8 ohms. This is usual uh, CPU cooler from an old, a very old PC. You can see that I uh, mounted uh, the resistor here. We'll use this uh, cooler. I put uh, this uh, NTC and uh, this NTC will uh, give uh, only the speed that uh, this cooler needs. When this uh, resistor is cold, will be a small speed, and when the resistor is hot, will be a high speed. We'll use this uh, step down module and we'll use this uh, bridge rectifier because I decided to not uh, put the minus and the plus. I want to use uh, also on alternative current and also when I test uh, power amplifiers. I can use this dummy load to test uh, the real power, sign uh, real power of audio amplifier. And then I, for audio amplifier, I need to add capacitor here. For continuous current, I don't need the capacitor, but uh, for the audio, amplifiers you know that are pulses then I need and uh, I will use this thermometer to check how it works this now let's get started I put everything together that's the final device the power resistor is uh, here. I put these wires. I forgot to tell you that this device is self-powered. Doesn't need auxiliary power supply. This uh, cooler is uh, working with uh, drop of voltage on this power resistor. You, you will see the schematic in the description of the video. So, these uh, two wires on the power resistor enters in this uh, bridge rectifier. And the uh, output of the bridge rectifier, continuous voltage, enters the, this... Uh, step down module and now I realize that I forgot to make the adjustment of this uh, step down module to 12 volts I have to do this now so the circuit is very simple 
Now I will make the adjustments for the step down and we will make the final test. Here uh, I made a electronic uh, thermometer. You can see 80, 18 degrees now here. If I touch the sensor, the temperature is increasing. Now let's uh, adjust the step down module. I was so lucky because this uh, step down module was uh, on 12 volts and I didn't burn this cooler. You can see there are 12 volts. Let's increase the voltage to the maximum. Twelve volts. That's good. Now you can see. Then we have thirty-one volts and uh, four amps. That's more than uh, one hundred watts. The cooler is not very hot, but the resistor is very hot because uh, thermal contact is not perfect and I have to go down. Now let's measure the temperature. I hope that you can hear when the cooler is heating, the heat when the heat sink is heating, the cooler gets a higher speed. Now let's check the temperature. Now uh, shows 27 degrees. Let's put on the resistor. As you can see, there are about 65 degrees on the resistor. Now let's check the cooler. I hope that you can hear the fan, it's almost uh, maximum speed. The heat sink is warm, but it's not so hot as the resistor. And you can see, there are 25 uh, degrees difference between the resistor and the heat sink. I hope that you liked this video and uh, I invite you to also do this project if you think that you need because it's very simple and it's very useful. If you find it helpful, please like, like and subscribe and see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.